Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. So today I have a bunch of plants that need some repotting mostly. So I just thought we could do that together. Um, let me pull them out here. These, a lot of these are ones that I had started in just sphagnum moss. So they just have sphagnum moss in the pot and I want to move them to soil. So this one here is the Mexicanum. This is the Philodendron 69686, I think. If that's wrong, I will insert the name. I love this one. I love the shape of the leaves. Aren't those cool? <clears throat> that one's been doing really well. Oh, I love this one. This one's the Philodendron Eximium. This one has really thick, shiny leaves. Oh yeah, it's a beaut. I like the design on the leaves. This one's just in the sphagnum moss. I've got um, the Philodendron Mayoi. That one's just in sphagnum moss. Uh, the Philodendron Melanochrysum. This one's finally started to grow. It was so tiny. Um, yeah, but it's time to move it. I'd just rather have them in soil because I have to water. I just watered this like yesterday and it's dry already. Um, this is the Philodendron Bob C. Oh, I've had to latch them all together because they get so big and they're sprawly. So I might need to find a new place for this one. But plus, it's in um, sphagnum moss, and it doesn't even have any drain hole on the bottom. So, got to take care of that one. Now, these ones, this is my um, philodendron grazelay, which I love. But I think I'm going to put a, um, like a trellis, uh, an arch in here for it. So, we got that. And then I'll just show you this other one once we get to it, because it's really big. Okay, I'm gonna pull out this Mexicanum first. Um, this one, I feel like the roots maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, you know what, I was right. I felt like, oh, the roots are actually very long. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to pull the sphagnum moss off of here the best I can. Oh, the roots are good, you guys. I was thinking that it didn't have good roots, but they're good. It doesn't have a ton of roots, but they're very long and they've branched off from each other. You can see that right there. I'm trying not to break them because they're kind of stuck together. But I guess we can put them in. I'm just going to put it into the pot with the sphagnum moss on the roots. It'll be okay. That'll help um, retain the moisture because I put a lot of um, perlite and the clay balls in my soil mixtures to keep it airy. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna dump out this sphagnum moss real quick. This one's really wet for some reason. So I've got the um, clay balls, the potting soil with the perlite in it. Where am I going to put that? We'll just set it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the soil in the bottom here and some of the clay balls. Yeah, I just like these clay balls because they keep the soil from compacting. On the off chance I do over water, it'll be okay, which I don't. This leaf just fell off. It didn't look very good. It was kind of yellow. And that sphagnum moss was pretty wet, so. This, um, these clay balls actually have some soil in them. So I'm gonna, and perlite, put those around the roots more. And then put some more soil at the top here. Normally I would water these when I do this, but I'm not going to water this one because 
it was the sphagnum moss was really quite wet. That one's done. I almost want to cut this leaf off too because it I'd rather they grew up more, but I'm not going to since that other one fell off. But I'm just going to go ahead and follow that and get all the rest of these done. I thought you might like to see the root growth on each of these. It's hard to see because the sphagnum um, attaches to it so much, but you can kind of get an idea there. Okay, here's the mayoi. Its roots are pretty dang long. This philodendron 6, 8, whatever the numbers are, you can see the roots have wound themselves around the outside of the pot. I just massaged the roots on this one and you can see I got a lot out of there. It's six, nine, whatever. I'll put it on the screen there, but yeah, I'm not a numbers person, so I can't remember. So my childhood friend, the, the parents, the mother is still friends with my parents and my parents needed to call her and they couldn't find her number because there was a death in her, the family. I was able to pull that from my memory, <laughs> which is amazing. And then, but then other times I like, I'll go to put in my pin number for my debit card or something, which I do all the time. And it's like the numbers just aren't there. So it's just funny how our, or how my mind works or how it doesn't. I don't know. It depends how you look at it. Okay. Got that one done. All right. Here's the eximium roots. That's <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I just poured some perlite and it's like oh, <coughs> a little dusty. Um, anyway, when you propagate in perlite, you are going to have a lot. It just sticks right to the roots. So, but that's okay um, because it'll keep it moist. Another thing that I really like about these clay balls is that you can just set them on top of the soil. And like if your plant has a tendency to flop over, you know, and you're having to put a stake or something in it to keep it held up, the balls help to hold it up. Plus, another thing that I didn't like about having the sphagnum moss in there is that I had to take the pot with the plant and the sphagnum moss in it to the sink to water it because the water would just run through, but the sphagnum moss would still be dry. So that was just kind of a little bit of an extra effort, which isn't a big deal if you just have a couple plants, but when you have bazillions, or it feels like you have bazillions, then that's just extra time. I won't have to do that anymore. This Bob C is so wet. Um, I have it in the one without the hole in the bottom and it's really wet and it doesn't seem to mind. I mean, look, there's the end of the roots there and they look, oh, <laughs> they look pretty healthy, but I'm glad we are moving this because, because actually some of the roots look like they're, they are um, rotting like this one. Do you see that? I don't know if you can see it. See how the, there's like, there's a string inside the root there and like the outer part of the root is separating from that. That means it's rotting. So I'm going to go through and cut off all of those ugly parts like that. See that? You can see it a lot on there. My bad. Good thing we're doing this. Okay, so this one, um, this one has sphagnum moss on top, but underneath it's soil. It's just so weird looking. Like I had it on a stick, but I think I want to put it on this trellis here. So I'll just put that in there. I'll try to train the little guy to climb on that. Do any of you guys have a grazy lay? Do you find it to be a really slow and weird grower? I think I need bigger clips here. There we go. I don't want to bend him too much. I don't know. It's pretty rigid. But I would like to... Okay. 
Okay, buddy, let's work together here. Okay, at least I've got him going in the right direction. Ish. <laughs> then maybe we can, you know, bend him a little more next time or something. I don't know. But that looks better than how it did before, for sure. Okay, and then the last one here. This one we got a few things going on. This is my Palea Peperomoides. And these are plant ID tags that we have available in our shop. I have a video about them. I'll put a link to it up there. These big ones are a little bit stress, more stressful. <laughs> Plus he's on a stick, but he's got babies growing in there. And I think I want to take them out and start them up in their own pot. Okay, I'm just going to take these scissors because they're what I have here kind of loosen up the soil around the outsides of the pot. I'm curious how big this guy's roots are because he's gotten pretty tall. He's He loses his leaves towards the bottom of his stem. They turn yellow and fall off, which I think is just, you know, nature, a natural part of nature. Wow, he's got a really big root right there. Oh, that's not a root. That's something else. That's like a, another little plant growing, but it was growing around. See, I'm gonna try to pull a little and see what happens here. Just a little, cause, oh, okay. He's coming. So now I'm just pulling and loosening the soil around the edges there so he'll come out of the pot cause it's a little bit more narrow. Oh. There's one of his babies. He just lost a leaf. Okay, I hear a lot of roots in there. Come on, come on out of there. Okay, there we go. All right, <laughs> now what? Now I'm stuck. I need an assistant. We're just gonna lay him down here. Help! Okay, just lay him down here. Take a load off there, bud. Okay, I'm just gonna empty this pot here real quick. <laughs> oh shoot, now I've laid him on. Okay. Get Gonna grab some clay balls. Okay, so I'm gonna put these clay balls on the bottom. And then I'm gonna start adding some soil in here. He's been way down in his pot for a while, so I'm happy to be doing this. I'm also going to give him some Epsom salt because I think he might need more calcium or magnesium because his leaves aren't ever flat. He's very healthy though, obviously. Um, I'm going to try to remove all of his little plantlets. See, this one came off and it doesn't have any roots this one does have root we got a pretty big one right here that i'm a little nervous about doing i've got a knife i'm gonna just try to slice them off because this one it looks like it's growing yeah they don't really have roots they didn't grow that way so i'm just gonna slice them off of the the main branch Okay, this guy has roots. Look at there. Cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I keep saying, okay. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to put him in there. Okay. <laughs> Let me try to put this bamboo stake down as far as I can into the pot. All right, there we go. We did it and he didn't get destroyed, but see how his leaves are kind of cut. So it could be from the magnesium or calcium deficiency. It could be due to temperature and it could be due to light or water. So that's the fun thing about plants. You gotta be a detective. And my problem is I have always, <laughs> a lot of the times I try like 10 different things at once to fix a problem. So then when I do fix the problem, 
I don't know which one of the things I did fixed it. But um, this time we'll just, well, I, I am repotting him, so there's that. And then I'm going to put the Epsom salt on. And I'll give you an update. I'll put a note on my calendar to give you an update in a month or two, and we'll see how he's doing. I think it looks a lot better without the the babies growing. It just looks more clean. Okay, I'm going to pot up the babies. Does anyone want a Palia Pepper Moides? Because if you do, then just um, drop me, let me know in the comments, and I'll send you one. Leave me your contact information, and looks like I've got four of them here, so I'll just do it in order. Whoever comments first will get this bigger one, and then these other three. Whoever, the next three comments will get those ones. Stay tuned till the end of this video, and I'll just be showing you how the plants look since I repotted them in their natural where they live. Okay, so now we'll check in on our Tenanthe experiment. I don't have a lot to report again. Here's the one that I didn't cut, and here's the one that I did. You can see that one little sprout that was growing has gotten taller, but I don't see anything else yet. But don't worry, it'll come. We just gotta be patient. This other part of our Tenanthe experiment, I do not see any roots on these. And not only that, but look how bad the leaves look. I'm not good at water propagating. I never have been. It just doesn't work out well for me. Like pothos and philodendron, that's about the extent of what I've had left with propagating, but I'll keep them over there and we'll keep checking on them and see, I mean, until they're dead or they grow something, we'll see what happens. So I thought since that experiment is pretty slow moving, we better do a few more experiments. Um, I've got two Dracaenas here, um, Song of India. They both look pretty good, but um, this one is a little bit smaller. The, the stem is smaller and everything. So I read this thing that if your plants are tired from the winter, then to you can just stick one of your multivitamins in the soil. Now, I don't know if this is true. It's an experiment, so we're just trying. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna stick my, my women's one a day into the soil and we'll keep an eye on these. I'm gonna mark this one. This one's the one that got the vitamin and then we can see if we see any difference. If you watched last week, you know that I have something and the consensus is it's a slug or a snail. Crawling around here, leaving trails of hot glue-ish looking substance and eating a few leaves on my plants. So I looked up a natural way to get rid of them and apparently they like beer. They're not picky about the brand. <laughs> I don't know why they like beer. I hate beer. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this big can. I've got these little plastic condiment holders. I'm gonna put beer in them. I'm gonna fill them about that full. I know the little buggers can climb up stuff. So I'm just gonna fill these all up and put them around here and if I catch one, ugh, it'll die. So what will happen from what I read? They'll crawl up there because they love the smell of beer. They love beer. They'll climb in there and it will kill them because of the alcohol in it. Do you like beer? Ugh, I do not like beer. Okay, I'm probably getting carried away, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this beer anyway. So I guess I'll just fill these all up. <laughs> Just put them all throughout. I'm worried when I let my, when my dogs come in here, they're gonna drink it. But I mean, I guess if they like it, whatever. So I'm gonna go put these all throughout the greenhouse and I'll keep you posted as to if I catch any. So I've been think, trying to think what I can do with this can of beer. I decided to water. I've got two philodendron windimbies and they're both pretty, equal in size. Um, this one, I'm going to water with beer from now on. So I'll just keep this beer out here in the sunroom and we'll just keep watering it that way every week until 
the beer runs out and we'll see if there's any difference between the two. So I started a bunch more seeds over the weekend. It was four days ago and I wanted to show you those. There's a lot. Okay, this is tray number one and we do have some things coming up here. We've got the Livingston Daisy. You see them little fellers in there? And then the Royal Carpet Alyssum. So every day I come out here and spray them with the squirt bottle. I think I'm going to move, well I am, I'm gonna move these ones the alyssum at least downstairs under the grow lights because they're starting to reach. You can see how they're reaching for the sun. Um, these other ones I might wait until tomorrow or the next day. Looks like we've got some south <gasps> flower coming up too. I'm just so creeped out because of that stupid slug or whatever. <laughs> now I'm paranoid. Okay, so I'm gonna take the alyssum out take downstairs under the grow light and I've just covered this one because these are too tall to put the lid on so I've covered them with some clear plastic to keep the humidity in and this is tray number two. Oh, we got some more okay so the broccoli's not coming up some of it the some cabbage is coming up. Uh, you can see there's some coming up in there. What we got in there? Cauliflower, broccoli. Yeah, I better get these upstairs because they're Brussels sprouts, broccoli, uh, golden cauliflower. What's this one? Oh, dahlia, the bishop's children dahlia is coming up. So, and I think those are all the sprouts that I see. But, so I'll move those all downstairs today. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Back a year ago. 